It's time for the Drugless Doctor. Call our friend or family member now and let them benefit from today's exciting and life-changing program. If you want to lead a healthier life, the time is now. Hello, this is Dr. Bob, Dr. Anthony, and Dr. Kaysen D. Maria. We'd like to welcome you to another episode of The Drugless Doctor. What we're going to talk about today is something that impacts each and every one of you. So I'm going to ask you a trick question. Are you ready? Does gravity ever take a vacation? You say, what did you just ask? Does gravity ever take a vacation? Of course not. Gravity is continually and relentlessly pushing down on top of your body, literally compressing you. Because over time, one of the leading reasons that individuals are coming to our practice to be a practice member, they don't want to be bent over like my mom was. I don't want to be bent over like my dad was. I don't want to look like that. Take that hump out of the back of my back. Can you do that for me? I don't want to be like that. It goes on and on. Well, I want you to know something. What you could do right now is go to YouTube and just type in Dr. Bob DeMaria Techno Neck. Several years ago, I did a program on a local channel here on the impact of posture. That's right, how posture impacts your body. Let me talk to you a little bit about the biblical principle of gravity. If you go to your Bible, John 16, 32, 33, Jesus said in the world you would have tribulation. If you translate that word tribulation from the Greek to the English, it's philipsis. Philipsis as in the pressure applied to olives in an olive press. So we know that in the world you're going to have compression constantly. Well, there's something that's occurring right now that I know that each, probably most of you watching me, have done in the last 15 to 20 minutes. And Dr. Anthony is going to talk to you about something that is negatively impacting you and the reason that you need to make some change. Dr. Anthony. And that thing that Dr. Bob's talking about that's negatively impacting you is this little device. Now, this little device impacts many, many, many millions, if not billions of people. Now, one of the reasons why you'd say that is when you're using this device, if you're not doing or using it in a position that's at eye level and you're bringing your head into the forward position or looking down, that's negatively impacting your nervous system. What do you mean negatively impacting my nervous system? Well, we're going to talk to you here in a second about how the body works, but even just 30 degrees of your head coming into what's called a flex position puts about 12 to 24 pounds of extra pressure on your nervous system. Now, if you get to 60 degrees, it's about 48 pounds of pressure on your nervous system. If you get closer to 90, it's nearly 60 pounds of pressure that's taking place on your spinal cord. You say, well, Dr. Anthony, why is that important? Now, when we take a look at the body, it's really important here. Our brain sits in that skull. The brain continues as something called the spinal cord. Off of the spinal cord comes delicate nerves that are going to muscles, organs, and tissues. So if your head's in the forward position, it's stretching those nerves or that compression that Dr. Bob was talking about, which changes the messages that the brain sends to the rest of the body. So it's like turning the dimmer switch down when it comes to the messages that the brain can send the rest of your body. Now, it's really interesting because there's a lot of studies that have been coming out as far as head position and posture and how posture can impact your overall health and well-being. So if your mom ever told you to sit up, you should have listened. Now, I want you to be aware of this. The next time you go into a room and you talk to somebody about posture, someone automatically goes like this. And you're going to say, well, why do you look like you're in the military? Because you've always been taught that posture is having a position like this. But posture is your every day, how you carry yourself. When someone tells you not to have straight posture, you should be aware and have awareness of your posture. It's very common to have somebody that will come into the office and they'll say, you know what? I was working at the computer and my body started to go forward. And now the muscles in the back of my neck are really tight. In my shoulders and I said yeah because they're compensating for that forward pressure whether it's from using your phone or using the computer or reading a book and having your head in that position and over time that decreases those messages that the brain sends to the body and it impacts your overall function so through the course of the program we're going to be talking about ways to improve posture and how different activities that you might be doing 
can either negatively or positively impact your posture. So our takeaway today is that you take at least one thing away from what we're gonna be discussing here as far as your posture, apply it to your life so you can be happy and healthy. What do you got there for me there, Dr. Kaysen? When we're talking about our posture, the first thing I want you to do, I want you to take your phone out, take your camera out, and let's see what your posture looks like. So what I want you to do is I want you to stand with the camera, whether whoever you're watching the program with, you're gonna stand in your best posture from the front, and you're gonna take a picture of yourself from the front. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand at your side, and you're gonna relax your shoulders and look straight ahead, and you're gonna take another picture of yourself from the side. And then I want you to look at your posture. What does it look like? Does it look like your shoulders are nice and level as your head over your shoulders? Does it look like one of your shoulders is higher than the other? And then what I want you to do is look at your side view. Is your ear directly above your shoulder or is it going into that forward position? This is a great way to see what everything looks like. And if your posture is off, we know that those nerves may be compromised that are going to your lungs, your heart, your arms, your hands. So the first thing you can do is number one, look at your posture, and then number two, what can we do to strengthen your posture? First of all, you can come see us, see what your posture looks like on the inside as far as how things are moving. The next thing you can do is start strengthening your posture. And some of the things that you could do is get some resistance bands and work on strengthening your upper back because we know that posture is a reflection of what's going on inside our body. They just did a brand new study and they had talked about how posture and sitting is the new smoking. And you might say, what does that mean? That means that sitting is becoming more and more common of people in their current workplace. And we know that sitting compromises the overall systems in your body. Sitting is the worst position you could be for the discs in your spine. That's the most amount of pressure that you're putting on all of those organs. They also did a study that people that sit, they have higher risk of diabetes and mortality, also cholesterol, blood pressure. All these things are directly impacted by your posture. Dr. Bob. Well, I'll tell you, um, what Dr. Anthony was talking about, the spinal cord, the spinal cord would be an example of this printer cable that would go from a computer to a printer, and your brain sends messages via the spinal cord. So we know that if your posture is being compromised, that your nervous system is being compromised. So it's not uncommon for us to have someone come into the office that has carpal tunnel pain on both wrists. Now, many people of you watching us right now may have had carpal tunnel surgery already. And we have learned that if you have carpal tunnel on both sides, it could be a neck problem that's being precipitated by your head going in the forward position. But what's very unique about the type of practice that we have is that we have a piece of equipment called the video fluoroscopy. It's digital video fluoro. And what that allows us to do, and it allows us to put your head in a moving position and we do that, we're looking for a vertebra that are either locked or fixated, or basically they're stuck. And unless you unstick those vertebra, and we do not do traditional cracking adjustments in our office, we have tables that have been designed that have drop mechanisms that we can go specifically to the area and make the correction. And we've had individuals, if your posture is impaired, to give you an example, what I'm holding in my hand right now are basically two sponges that you would use to wash your car. Well, from the side view, if your posture is going forward, your lungs are being compressed. If your lungs are being compressed, you're going to have limited oxygen. If you have limited oxygen, you're going to have a greater potential to be sick, whatever that means to you. Well, by improving your posture, improving your lungs, we're going to improve oxygenation. When we improve oxygenation, unfriendly organisms don't like oxygen. So we have individuals that are coming to our practice that not only is their posture improved, but their overall state of health and wellness is improved. And we have a tool in our practice called a spirometer. The spirometer is a tool that we use to help assess uh, the force vital capacity or your body's ability to expel air. Well, we have research that we can show you individuals that over time, with the properly administered adjustment, their breathing improves. So to give you an example, we had a gentleman that came into our office that was 55 years old, 
and his lungs were 67 years old, we went through a series of adjustments and we took his lung age down to his mid 40s. Do you hear what I just said? His mid 40s, so that means he's breathing better, he has more health, he has more vitality. So posture impacts an array of areas of your body. Dr. Anthony. Now, the next area I'd like to discuss with you is one that I know that many of you do on a daily basis, whether it's at work or at home. It's how you either sit at a desk or use a computer. Many more individuals over the last decade have been using computers as a part of their work and or personal life to stay connected to others. So one of the best things to do for yourself is have an awareness of your posture when utilizing the computer. Now, the best thing to do would be to sit in a chair that supports you and have your knee angle be at 90 degrees. Well, what does that mean? A 90 degree angle would be like this. This would be your hips, this would be your legs, where your knees come together. You want it to be at 90 degrees. You don't want it up, you don't want it down because that puts different stresses and pressures on the rest of your body. The same thing when it comes to your arms. You don't want to be doing this and typing and you don't want to be going real low. You want to have your arms at a nice neutral 90 degree angle position so that you don't put different stresses and pressures on your body because the amount of time that individuals are spending at a computer. Now another area when it comes to computer use and is you really don't want to put a laptop on your lap and you really want to be aware of your posture when in different non-traditional desk positions when utilizing a computer. Now imagine doing that eight hours a day for a year. Do you think that that would impact your body and your posture? You better believe it. We have a lot of people that come in between the ages of 12 and 40 into the, our office and they all have a similar type of pattern when it comes to their spine. It's how things are either positioned or malpositioned when it comes to their lower part of their neck because of where their head has been. So the thing that's amazing to us is when we start working with them chiropractically and help unlock the healing potential that's inside their body and your body, their body heals himself, their posture improves, and we can see that over time by assessments like Dr. Bob mentioned with the spirometer or thermal scanning or motion video. It gets really exciting because people didn't realize how important, how important their posture is because how the brain talks to the rest of their body. So I, before we go on a short break, I want to make sure that you go to our website, druglessdrs.com, go to the section that says blog. You can print out today's outline that we're talking about posture and tips on improving your posture. I recommend you that you share that with your friends and family. You can even do the posture test that Dr. Kaysen mentioned because posture is really important for your, for your body. So we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. I'm a chiropractor because my, my goal, my passion is to help people get better without medication. There's different types of chiropractic. I wanted to be involved in something that was bigger than myself. Here I would say it's been so much more than just seeing those lives transform, it's been being able to be a part of their transformation. Wellness is a state of mental, social, and physical well-being. Really wellness is from the inside out being able to have your body make the decisions on its own, naturally, without drugs, medications, or, or surgeries. We work and strive at addressing each one of those different facets of wellness so that it's really a, a well-rounded overall approach for an individual. I think the atmosphere is really very welcoming. I think all three really work well together as a team. It's, it's much more than you would find somewhere else. The individuality of it, uh, the recommendations, the doctor's expertise. We do not use a cookie cutter plan. Every person that comes into our office is very unique and they have specific plans and treatment protocols specific for their findings. Utilizing our innovative tools and technology, we're able to get the best results and faster and it's really easy on, on the practice member, specifically with the thermal scans that we do by measuring the ambient skin temperature. We're able to measure from each assessment how the pattern's changing. We offer digital video fluoroscopy, motion films of a person's spine, getting right to the root cause. From someone that was previously diagnosed with ADHD and was having developmental delays in speech, working with them here and seeing the transformation of 
them developmentally, other things, attention span, energy, colic, all these things that are improving over a period of time. So whether it's a little baby that's getting adjusted for the first time or a mom that's getting adjusted or an athlete, it's really cool to see what we're able to do and how that can impact their life for the long term. The two things, chiropractic care and nutrition go hand in hand and you really need both components. You can't just say, I'll do whatever I want nutritionally and then just have chiropractic care and Dr. Bob will just fix me. Really, you have to have both going together. In our wellness store, we offer a variety of different products. They're all professional lines and products that are tried and true. We have many different types of evaluations and assessments that can tell us what supplement is gonna be best for one of our practice members here in the office so that we're just not throwing the dice when it comes to their health. The drug list doctors is very forward thinking. It's a lot different than anything else that I had ever seen before. So I felt like I was learning something new. We have information on social media, our website, our blog. We do TV programs. So we're always putting out good quality information because more often than not I hear from somebody, I never knew that. Or I got that information from a magazine or a TV program and I never really knew that that wasn't correct. So being able to give them simple tools and natural principles that they can be able to empower themselves to make every day, that's really, it, it, it's really exciting for me to be able to see people in their changed lifestyles. Come and join us and participate with natural drugless chiropractic care. Hello, this is Dr. Bob, Dr. Anthony, and Dr. Kaysen D. Maria. I'd like to welcome you once again to The Drugless Doctor. We've been talking about a very significant condition or an issue that so many of you don't think about, but you, when you were in the eighth grade and your mom told you to stand up, you did. That happens to be posture. I'd like to once again remind you to go to our website, which is drugglessdoctorsdrs.com. Go to blog and print out these notes. Now, there's many reasons that individuals come into our practice for health. And one young man came into our office and was so excited because we were talking to his grandmother and he wanted to grow. And literally what happened to him, he was starting to be compressed. And through our adjustments, he literally grew four inches. And he was very, very happy. A couple other areas I want to briefly discuss with you that we have learned over time that the uh, posture compresses the nerves in your spine. If you have misalignment here in your neck, that affects the nerves that go to your diaphragm, which we talked about, that impair breathing. But also there are muscles in your mid-back and your low back that come together that affect your pelvis. So somebody could have chronic hip pain because of neck misalignment because of poor posture choices. We also mentioned in the first segment about a device that we use, a tool for assessment called a forced or called a spirometer, which helps us determine your forced vital capacity. Well, we also have a tool in our practice called an oximeter or oximeter, and that helps us determine the amount of oxygen that's in your body. And if your oxygen level, you got to listen to. I'm going to word this to you now. If your oxygen level is not appropriate you have a greater chance to have sickness and disease. So what we're talking about by improving posture, it's not that you're gonna look good, and I know that everybody's concerned about looking good, it's about your overall health and that we contend if you wore your smile, your spine on your face, you would take better care of it. Most people don't even think about their spine and spinal function, but your spine is the single most important organ in your body because it's the home of the nervous system and the nervous system is so important because it's encased in bone. Dr. Anthony. Now let's talk about some things that you could do to help improve your posture. Now the very best thing that you could do like Dr. Casey mentioned earlier is get adjusted because that adjustment helps unlock the biomechanical misalignment of the spine, allows it to return to the proper position and just like Dr. Bob mentioned allows the brain to talk to the body. Now, we have people in our office follow up their adjustments with some exercises. 
because those exercises are like going to the gym and pumping iron in order to get your posture in the proper position. So any of you could do this simple exercise at home right now is what I want you to do is something called a head slide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn here to the side and what I want you to see is where my shoulders are, you're gonna bring your head back and bring it into this back position. It's not bringing my shoulders back, it's just bringing your head straight back. What this does is this helps to strengthen the muscles and ligaments in the back of your neck and the front of your neck so that your head's not coming into the forward position and impacting your function. So you could do that simply put every day for a couple of minutes. I like to call that a red light challenge. Anytime you're in the car and you come to a red light, you can do your exercises because that helps bring your head towards the forward position. Now, Dr. Kaysen, what other exercises do you have for us when it comes to helping to improve your posture? Some other exercises that you can do is if you have a large exercise ball at home, whether it's 55 centimeters, 60 centimeters, it depends on your height, you want to be able to lay back on the exercise ball so everything is leaning back to help bring all of those muscles and ligaments back. Now I also know if you have any kind of weight at home, whether 5 pound, 8 pound weight, you can also put that over your head and bringing it back to strengthen all of the muscles in the upper back and the to help to strengthen that posture. Now, what's really interesting is, even if you were to sit up straight, so to have good posture, over a period of time, you will go back into that forward position if your vertebra are out of position. So although your mom may be telling you to sit up straight, sit up straight, after a period of time, you're gonna go back into that position. That's why it's so important that you're working on your posture every single day. Just recently in, in a women's health magazine, and I know other magazines out there, they're talking about anti-aging, and the best thing you can do is work on your posture for anti-aging, because I'm sure that you've been watching people, people watch, watching people walking, and you can just see how they're in that very forward position, especially in the grocery store, you can just see those people, and you can think about the organs and tissues in their body that aren't up to 100% function. Now, one of the best things that you can do if you're an athlete is also work on your posture because posture impacts your overall performance. If you think about runners and other athletes, gravity is always pushing on you and pushing you forward. To work on opening and expanding those lungs, that's gonna help you with your breathing, your endurance, your lifting, your workouts. Performance directly is related to good posture. Dr. Bob. Well, you know, it's kind of uh, an important statement I'm gonna ask you right now. Are you satisfied with the current direction of your health? I'll say that again. Are you satisfied with the current direction of your health? Part two to that is, will it sustain you? So a part of what Dr. Kaysen was talking about, laying backwards on that ball, that is a part of a tool that you could do along with what Dr. Anthony was talking about, the red light challenge. If you're sitting at a red light and you're pulling your head back, and if you take a few moments out every day to pull your shoulders back and lay backwards on the ball, you're gonna increase the amount of oxygenation in your body. And I think another area where Dr. Anthony was talking about, and so is Dr. Kaysen, and how I want you to think about where we're coming from. So chiropractic itself is not about neck and back pain. Helping neck and back pain, that is actually very easy for us to make a difference in people's lives. What starts to become more challenging are people who have chronic neck challenges, chronic mid-back challenges. So I want you to think of each vertebra as this circuit. So if a circuit goes off at home, it stops the flow of electricity to an appliance like your refrigerator. When the human body, if the circuit goes off, it's going to impair the function from the brain sending a message, let's say, to your heart or to your lungs. So what we have seen in our practice by doing